Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns getting set for action against the Golden State Warriors. We get started in the first half. Booker covers the loose ball and knocks down the three-pointer. Boy, does he not have terrific range. Then it's Booker hitting the step back plus the foul. He finished with 27 points and eight assists. Phoenix up 42-33. Booker kicks it out to Kelly Oubre for a three of his own. And Phoenix up 58-50. Draymond Green in quarter number three, hooking up with his new teammate, Andrew Wiggins. And boy, Andrew Wiggins can absolutely fly, goes up and stuffs that one home just gently there. 27 points on the game for Wiggins. Kelly Oubre knocks down the corner three. And just watch on the replay, Golden State's coach, Jaron Collins, his reaction on this one. Oubre had 15 points and six rebounds. Phoenix gets the win 112 to 106. The New York Knicks have won four of five. The Washington Wizards, four of their last six. Go figure. Bradley Beal and the Wizards invading Madison Square Garden. And Beal getting right at it, attacking the rack for two. Mo Harkless to Julius Randle. Randle 21 and 13 in the ball game. Knicks finished the first half on a 10-0 run to lead by four. Beal gets the and one to go. He'd make the free throw. Then a pull-up three is good. How about one from the top of the key for three? 91-81 when that goes in. And Beal finishing things off with an alley-oop from Ish Smith. Beal had 30. It's the 23rd time this season he's had at least 30. And Washington, ninth in the East. Three games behind Orlando for the... The Orlando Magic, the eighth seed in the Eastern Conference as of now, heading into Wednesday's game. Aaron Gordon, last time he's on the floor before he prepares for the dunk contest this All-Star weekend. The Magic hosting the Detroit Pistons. This one was bonkers down the stretch. We go straight to the fourth. Aaron Gordon ties it with a three ball. Nikola Vucevic, look at that ball. It gets every spot of the rim before it falls down. Orlando up by three, but then Langston Galloway. I swear, he comes up with big shots when they're needed. A big shot taker, a big shot maker as we head to overtime. That's when we get Markel Fultz, 22 points and 10 assists for him. Pistons down by three. It's a jump ball between Aaron Gordon and Tony Snell. And one guy is jumping in the dunk contest this weekend. The other one is not. Orlando seals it at the line, 116-112. The Pistons... Two teams playing some of their best basketball of the season as of late. Portland has won six of nine. John Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies have won seven of their last nine. We don't have to tell you, Damian Lillard playing out of his mind as of late. So as John Morant had his first triple-double of the season and of his career on Sunday, in just his 47th career game, he finds Brandon Clark and then gathers his own miss and tips it in. He came in averaging over 17 points a game and seven assists a contest. Portland keeping it close, Damian Lillard for three. Memphis on top by four at halftime. Here's more from Morant. Driving, floater in the paint, that is a tough shot, and he executes it flawlessly. Then Morant back to Brandon Clark, this time for an alley-oop. Morant, 20 points, five rebounds, nine assists. Clark, 27 points, Memphis by 10. And then, well, we don't want to see this. Damian Lillard driving, blocked by Jonas Valanciunas, but he lands awkwardly on that right leg. He would injure his groin, he would leave, and would not return. 20 points and 10 assists for Lillard, but the Grizzlies get their eighth win in their last 10 games. This one... Jay Crowder greeting his former Utah teammates as he suits up for his new, new team, the Miami Heat. And yeah, Utah... Honoring a couple first-time All-Stars, Rudy Gobert and Donovan Mitchell. But it's Crowder and Andre Iguodala doing damage early on. Andre Iguodala knocks down the three. Then Jimmy Butler makes the short jumper. Miami up by five at the half. We go to the third quarter, and it's Bam Adebayo with destruction on his mind. He goes up and just mashes that one right through, over, and all on top of Rudy Gobert. 59-55, Miami in front. Donovan Mitchell misses. Jimmy Butler lands awkwardly on this one. He would leave the game and then return later, but you want to keep your eye on him. Donovan Mitchell makes the runner here. Then it's Jordan Clarkson 
making the pull-up three. Joe Ingles inbounds to Boyan Bogdanovich, and he's made clutch shots before, hadn't he? Knocks down the three. And then Ingles on the, to the all-star. Rudy Gobert throws it down, and Utah gets the win by 15. Final score, 116 to 101. The great Luka Doncic is back after missing seven games. The Dallas Mavericks tonight hosting the Sacramento Kings and uh, Doncic. It's Corey Joseph in the post, gets fouled, throws up a wild shot, and of course it goes in because it's Luka. Watch it one more time, just flings it up there and it drops. He did miss the free throw then. Doncic delivering the no-look pass to Maxi Kleber for the jam. Then Doncic introduces Harry Giles to the step back. That's cash. Then it's, yep, you guessed it, Doncic. Between his legs, step back over Harrison Barnes. That's money as well. Dallas by 11 at the half. In the third quarter, Luka bringing the ball up court. Drives and a little spin cycle, so the ankle's feeling good. He had 33 points, 12 rebounds, and 8 assists in his return. DeLon Wright pushed the ball up and drops it off to Kristaps Porzingis for the hammer. He had 27 points and 13 rebounds. What a dynamic duo Dallas has. They win this one 130-111. to 111.